Let's make this delicious viral recipe, the date bar that tastes like a Snickers. Oh my God, I've been seeing this all over social media and I was like, it's time to try it. And of course, because this is Habiba, we're gonna give you some nutrition facts as well. So I've got some medjool dates, some peanuts. My peanuts happen to be roasted salted peanuts, some chocolate chips, and some peanut butter. Really simple ingredients. For those who don't know, dates are originally a Middle Eastern delicacy. And growing up in Nigeria as a child, I did not like dates at all. It was often offered during celebrations or after fasting, you know, during Ramadan. And I just didn't like the texture and how sweet it was. But now as an adult, looking at the nutritional facts, I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Dates are a natural source of sugar and unlike artificial candy that gives you a rapid surge in blood sugar, they are slow releasing carbs, providing a consistent stream of energy to the body. Along with fiber, they also provide lots of vitamins and minerals and antioxidants and they're actually quite good for you. Peanuts are a good source of protein and fat. And in this case, my peanuts, like I said before, are roasted and salted. So the recipe calls for sea salt. I will not be adding any sea salt because again, my peanuts are already salted. Ooh, they're so delicious. I've been picking at them already. <laughs> Ideally, if you can get organic peanut butter with no added artificial ingredients, that would be great. But this is just regular peanut butter. I think we'll be fine. Okay, for the chocolate chips, you can use dark chocolate or milk chocolate or whatever chocolate you prefer. I like this brand because it happens to be gluten-free, meaning there is no added wheat flour in it. Believe it or not, some chocolate brands, or actually a majority of chocolate brands out there, are cheapened with wheat flour as a filler. So that's why I'm using this brand. And I happen to like milk chocolate. This recipe calls for no baking. There's no major cooking, but we're still gonna need a pan and also some parchment paper. Basically something that is non-stick and on a flat surface. This recipe is kind of fun and really easy and definitely something you can do with your kids. So you cut open the date and you'll see that there is a seed inside. It has a kind of fleshy look to the inside. The outside is very wrinkled and kind of um, maybe a little sticky because of the sugar. So it actually um, is quite interesting to look at. And in terms of taste, it basically tastes like caramel in fruit form, almost like caramel in fruit form. So anyway, you cut open the dates and you have to lay them open side up. So make sure they're open side up. An easier recipe I've seen is where people do not go through the process of making a bar. They just slightly cut open the date and then add some stuffing to it, dip it in chocolate, freeze it, and then they're done. And those are cute also, but here I specifically wanted to make a bar. Um, and I think it kind of looks more like a Snickers bar when we're done, sort of. Anyway, so here are our dates, and then I'm taking a piece of parchment paper and using, you can use a cup or whatever you have and smush it. Basically press it down to spread the date. We're trying to make a very sort of flat, even surface. And ideally, you want the dates to be really close together so it forms a nice sheet, um, if you will. Yes, push the dates together so they're close. And then keep pressing on them. They're really sticky because, again, of the sugar. So that's why adding the piece of parchment paper prevents everything from getting too messy. So it should kind of look like this. This is an opened jar of peanut butter. It's actually almost finished, so it's perfect. I don't mind adding about a tablespoon of hot water to the jar because I want the you know, peanut butter to be a little bit looser. That way I can spoon it and spread it evenly onto the um, dates. But certainly if you're using a brand new jar, then I would take out a portion and then 
you know, use that. Don't actually add hot water to the entire new jar of peanut butter. Um, and again, ideally you want to use organic peanut butter if you can get some. Um, but this is just regular peanut butter. And again, I'm just spreading it onto the dates. Like I said, this is an easy recipe that you can make with your kids. Or even if you don't have kids, this is something you can make in advance for yourself. For those of us that have a sweet tooth and are always looking for a little bit of dessert, but we want something that, you know, is not processed and we want something a little bit more healthy, but yet um, also filling, then this is the dessert or snack for you. For those that work out routinely or are athletic, this is also a great alternative to a protein bar. Um, because some of those protein bars actually have a lot of excessive amounts of sugars. Sometimes they have a lot of preservatives if they're not the super, super healthy ones. You would think that a protein bar meant for uh, athletes or meant for people who work out should have only, you know, natural ingredients, but not always the case. Check your ingredients label. <laughs> It's no surprise that I have a sweet tooth and I battle with this, especially as someone who knows better, who went to medical school and knows all the risks of, you know, excessive amounts of sugar and artificial ingredients on your body. But I am truly excited to try this because this is going to taste like a Snickers bar. And Snickers candy used to be one of my favorite, favorite candy bars but I've been good. I have not had a Snickers bar in a long, long time. Anyway, I am layering up the peanuts for a lovely crunch. And again, these are salted roasted peanuts. I imagine if you don't like peanuts, you could change it up and use almonds or even pecans or a combination. Ooh, how about cashews? Now that I've layered the peanuts and the peanut butter onto the dates, I'm going to melt two cups of chocolate chips. So two cups of chocolate chips for the amount of dates that I have. And you can melt the chocolate chips. These are cooking chocolate chips, right? So you can melt them on a stove by adding a bowl above a bowl of hot water and melting it that way. But instead, I'm just gonna quickly put it in the microwave for a few seconds. So yeah, you can just follow the directions on the bag and melt the chocolate chips in the microwave for only a few seconds. So it should come out like this at first. And uh, you still see, you know, there's a lot of chocolate chips in the mix. So I'm gonna put it back in the microwave for a few more seconds and then it should be nicely melted without overdoing it. Ooh, of course it smells so good for those of us that love chocolate. I have to be careful sometimes. I can only eat a little bit of chocolate because I get a little bit of palpitations due to the caffeine, you know? Anybody else out there like that? Yep, chocolate has caffeine in it. The darker the chocolate, the more caffeine it has. But also, the darker the chocolate, the higher the nutritional value of that chocolate. However, milk chocolate tends to have more cream and fat in it, so you have to be careful. But then there's also the controversy that a lot of processed chocolate brought to the USA has these other undesirable contaminants in there, and so I remember seeing news to stay away from dark chocolate. So it's so confusing. One minute, it's good for you. The next minute, it's not good for you. <laughs> you just have to always stay abreast of the knowledge out there or the information out there. Anyway, I'm adding another layer of peanuts to the chocolate because I want mine thick. I want it thick, y'all. <laughs> I don't want it thin. I want, that. I want a thick bar to bite down on. I placed the bar in the freezer for 30 minutes to set the chocolate and set everything in place. And it is ready, it's that simple. No baking required. So now I'm going to cut it in some squares. It can be a little tricky, but just be patient. Of 
course, you need a very sharp knife. And it's quite okay if it doesn't come out super neat. What matters is it's delicious. In fact, I've seen people uh, create very irregular shapes when they cut it. And again, that is totally fine. Your kids will love it. You will love it. Your hubby will love it. <laughs> After a workout, you won't care what shape it is. Um, but the nice squares are, you know, maybe a little bit more presentable if you had a large group of people or if you wanted to stack them. Just look at those layers of ooey gooey date and peanut butter and chocolate and the crispy peanuts. Oh my goodness, I can't wait, I can't wait. I wish I could reach out and give you a bite. <laughs> this is how I would serve it to the family or how I would present it on a buffet with other foods, basically on a plate and then cover it with a glass dome. It ideally should be stored in the refrigerator if you want it to last for up to a week or you can also store it in the freezer and it will last even longer. You can, you know, section it out into small amounts and give it to friends or family. I'm planning to give some to Khalid, who, as you know, is in med school. This picture was taken by my iPhone. Isn't it beautiful? Just look at the detail, love it. Anyway, let's try it. It really does taste like a Snickers bar. No cap, it tastes like a Snickers bar. But what I realized quickly, it's also very filling, so a little goes a long way. Here's another suggestion for the type of container you can use to store the chocolate date bars. These hold well in the refrigerator or freezer and they allow you to transport them wherever you want. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, by the way, if you've enjoyed this video. So Kenton just tried it and he agrees it tastes like a Snicker bar. See, I got little pieces left over that he can have. <laughs> so what do you think? Yeah, it's a like candy. Right, it's like candy. They say it's actually really good for uh, after a workout. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like yeah, I just came back from a workout. <laughs> Worked out eating. Yeah. Dinner. After workout or as dessert or um, for kids because mm -hmm. it's kid friendly as long as they don't have any allergy to no. peanuts. Or after an argument with your spouse, don't <laughs> you need a Snickers break? Yeah, you do. <laughs> well, I, you know what, Boo? You're actually supporting my book. Look, right. you're wearing the t shirt. Right. Yeah. 100%. 100%, right? That's right? For those of you who don't know that I've written a uh, cookbook, oh. it's called The Caribbean Fruitcake. Yeah. So for anyone that's been buying the book Black Cake, which is a novel by uh, a woman called Charmaine Wilkinson, I believe. Yeah, she has a book, a nice novel about the Caribbean experience and family. And in that book, there isn't the recipe for the cake. So if you actually want the recipe for the fruit cake, you should check out the book, The Caribbean Fruit Cake, which is on Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, um, where else? It's all over. All over, right? Yeah. Walmart, anywhere online. Yeah. Okay, I know I went off on a tangent there, but I hope you get to try this chocolate date bar. It's delicious. Let me know if you try it, and don't forget to save this video. Bye!